विश्व सृजे ब्रह्म धावंता वयाती क्रम एक्सपेंशन ऑफ डार्कनेस दिशाम इन ऑल डायरेक्शन लोके अना हा अहात लोके तेना अहात लोके तेना अहात लोके लोकपाला हता जुसा नया विधेयन विश्वस्रजे धावंता व्यातान दिशा Translation now everyone please repeat by the force of the pregnancy of diti by the force of the pregnancy of diti the light of the sun the light of the sun and moon and moon was impaired was impaired in all the planets in all the planets and the demigods of various planets being disturbed by that force being disturbed by that force ask the creator of the universe of the universe brahma brahma what is this expansion what is this expansion? of darkness of darkness in all directions by the mercy of shila prabhupad see when some bad force you know comes in the material world did this pregnancy means demon gave birth to the demons that bad force the light of the sun and the moon was impaired in all planets even the light of sun and moon was affected by that and the demigods of the various planets being disturbed they are disturbed by that force devotees unless or until one take to this devotional service bhakti prema bhakti prema bhakti jahan hoite avidya vinash ho jate this uh, avidya agyan comes when one is not a devotee we are blessed all of us actually whole world is blessed by krishna through shila prabhupad prabhupad appeared and he gave us this devotional service this devotional service at it is mentioned in the bhagavatam 
सवे पुमसो परो धर्मो यतो भक्तिर अधोक्ष दे आहि तो की अप्रतिहता यह आत्मा सुप्रसिद्ध थी एक्चुअली दिस डिवोशन सर्विस इज द बिजनेस ऑफ एवरीवन ऑल द लिविंग एंटिटीज नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ कास्ट कलर एंड क्रीड एवरीवन शुड टेक टू दिस डिवोशन दिस इज द पर्पस ऑफ दिस ह्यूमन फॉर्म ऑफ लाइफ एंड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ डिवोशन डिवोशन सर्विस टू द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड शुड बी अनमोटिवेटेड एंड अनइंटरप्टेड नो मोटिवेशन यू नो मायाज इन्फ्लुएंस इज सो पावरफुल दैट वी फॉरगेट दिस We have so many motivations. We have so many desires. Like Shila Rupa Goswami Prabhupada said, "Anna vilasatha shunnam." Material desire must be zero. Gyan karma di anabritam. No need of philosophical speculation. Gyan and karmi. We generally we are karmi. Karmis means fruity workers. Those who are working for some result. so our only only business is to get out of here not to make a permanent uh, home in a temporary place this material world is a temporary place filled with so many vices and now dummy god everybody is worried simply by the pregnancy of diti because diti though she was the wife of a great sage aditi gave the birth to the devtas dummy gods And Diti gave to the demons, Dem- demons, and demigods coming from from the same source. And when uh, the demon, demonic force increase, then everybody get disturbed. So devotees, uh, though we are born here in this kali yug, the age of quarrel, the age of hypocrisy, the age of fighting, age of backbiting. an age of dirty politics but we have the golden opportunity given to us by krishna through his pure devotee shila prabhupa to get out of here not to try to make a permanent home in a temporary situation but our position is like this <clears throat> little boy his parents sending him to school but he is not interested in going to school when uh, i was young i was studying with my brother in law he was a professor so i was putting up with them and studying uh he had first child first son he may be 3 4 years old they were they wanted him to go to the kindergarten as soon as they say that um, you have to go to kinor garden for studying he would shout scream yell and they both raised their hand my sister and brother in law he won't go to school and he is not going to study then i took him in my lap and he scared him i say why you don't go to school you have to go to school then he looked at me and he called my kans mama i am in relation is uncle you know he called me kans because i was forcing him to go to school so we don't want to study but now he is also gold medalist very educated he did the phd and became very later and became very. so we are not interested in devotional service but our only business is to perform this devotional service to the supreme lord which kind of devotional service unmotivated uninterrupted if i have any material desire like rupa goswami prabhupad any material desire that will bring me back to this miserable material world devotees shila prabhupada repeatedly requested us perform pure devotional service and lord chaitanya was saying na dhanam na janam na sundarim kavitam ba jagadish ka me mam janmani janmani ishware bhavatad bhakti ahai tu ki tvai o almighty lord I have no desire to accumulate wealth. Not do I desire beautiful women. Not do I want any number of followers. Not do I want to become a big orator. Then what do you want? Everybody wants this thing. You don't. You what do you want? I only want your cause less devotion. No cause. But I should keep on serving you, devotees. Only that cause less devotion service. 
can deliver us from the clutches of Maya, from the cycle of birth and death. We should remember this. Because in general, we are in ignorance. And we don't think that devotion service is so important. But when time will be passed, then we will be simply sorry. We won't be able to do anything. So by the mercy of Srila Prabhupada, who is repeatedly reminding us different places, uh, different letters, we should perform unalloyed devotion service. Na dhanam, na janam, na sundani. I don't want anything. I only want service. Which kind of service? Unmotivated and uninterrupted. Actually, this service uh, is our jiva's nature, is our characteristics. Service. We have to render service. But right now, we are deprived of Krishna's service. We are rendering service to each other. Huh? Husband says, I am the father of my children. Husband of my wife owner of the home. No. Neither is the father of the children, husband of the wife, owner. He is a servant of home, servant of children, and servant of wife. We are serving, but we are not satisfied. Only service to Krishna can satisfy the self. Nothing else can satisfy us. So Prabhupada has given this service, devotional service. He was able to give alone, single-handedly, and I am sitting here in Prabhupada's Western World Headquarter. He named Los Angeles as my Western World Headquarter. Srila Prabhupada's Western World Headquarter, Los Angeles Ki. Yeah. So from here, this pure devotion should be spread around. Pure devotion should increase. Then only there can be peace and prosperity. Not like Diti, she is a uh, father of a mother of a, mother of a demon going to give birth to a demon. Even demon when he came into the womb of Diti, the light of the sun and moon was impaired in all the planets. And the demigods of various planets being disturbed by that force asked the creator of the universe, Brahma, what is the expansion? What is this expansion of darkness in all directions? So, because she is going to give birth to a demon and he is going to create a big trouble for everyone. Even he hasn't born. But before his birth, this inauspicious thing started happening in all the planets. In the purport, Srila Prabhupada is saying, it appears from this verse of Srimad Bhagavatam that the sun is the source of light for all the planets. Sun is the source of light of all the planets in the universe. The modern scientific theory which states that there are many suns in each universe is not supported by this verse. Scientists, you know, what is the scientist? They, only, they can only speculate. I remember... <clears throat> I think it was uh, 1975. Srila Prabhupada was in Bombay and I, I happened to be his servant at that time. So while some film company, you know, Bombay, there's a Bollywood, in here is Hollywood, there is a Bollywood. They made a Bollywood. Some directors and some actors, a few, seven, eight persons came to see Prabhupada. Among them, there was one actor. He was a joker in the film. He has a daughter here in Los Angeles. She saw the center here, so she wrote her father that you visit Hare Krishna Temple, Bombay. So this person, a joker, he started speaking. He said, millions and millions and millions and millions of years ago, there was a chung. Prabhupada said, stop this nonsense. Shouted at <laughs> He started shaking nonsense, talking of millions of years ago. <laughs> you are now, and about you know about billions of years. So this is not this nonsense is going on, you know. Prabhupada scolded him. He didn't care for these actors, you know. He didn't 
give them much importance. They are spoiling our Vedic culture, these actors and directors. Our nonsense they present in the films, you know. When you go to see the movie, what do you see there? Mera man dole, tera tan dole. My mind is going to be here and there, your body is going to be here and there. All nonsense, all stupid. Purpose of life is to become Krishna conscious, to become austere. Sabe pumso paro dharmo yeto bhaktir adhokshaje. Ahituki aprati hata yayatma suprasidati. This is the purpose of life, not to enjoy senses. More or less, we are all out of sense enjoyment. It's very, very subtle. You know, very subtle devotees. We should help each other, not be out of sense enjoyment. Because spiritual life begins from here. I am not this body. I am not from here. I am here for little time. For a little time, my only business is to re-establish my forgotten relationship with Krishna. This is my only business. Because I belong to him. I, I do not belong to this miserable material world. I am here, as it is mentioned in the Chaitanya Chattamrita. Why I am here? Krishna Bhuliya Jeeva Bhogavam Shakare. Pashete Mayatare Jopati Adare. A Jeeva, after forgetting Krishna, he wanted to enjoy independent of him. Who can enjoy? Nobody can enjoy independent of Krishna. And we suffer more and more again. Chewing the chews. Puna Puna Charvita Charvanam. Hey, somebody has chewed this sugar cane, throw up the chewing, and as it comes and start chewing, what is there? Nothing in that. No juice. We are similarly chewing the chew. There is no happiness. There is no enjoyment in this material world. Only happiness is unto the lotus feet of Rukmani Dwarkadish. Only then unto the lotus feet of their, when we serve them without any motivation. I don't want anything, my Lord. I just want to serve you. And service is so palatable. It's very, very sweet. Very, very service to the Lord. Not service to anybody else. And that is called devotional service. And that is a gift originally by Lord Chaitanya. He gave this gift of devotional service. Then again people forget. Then many of our, many acharyas appeared. Bhakti Thakur tried his best. Then he predicted in 1896, in the future, a acharya is going to appear who is going to take this Krishna conscious throughout the whole world. Same time Srila Prabhupada appeared in 1896. And Srila Prabhupada took the trouble to bring this Vedic culture because we all belong to one God. God is only one. He is Krishna. Nobody says I am God. Uh, Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, he didn't say I am God. He said I am son of God. Muhammad didn't say I am God. He said, Allahu bismillah rahman rahim Ya ilaha ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. I am the prophet. I am the messenger of God. And who else is there? Even Sikh gurus, they never said we are God. They said, uh, the 10th Guru, Guru Govind Singh Sahib, he said, Am to param purkaka dasa, he said, Yo mohe parmesar uchra hai, Bain narka kundama jaya hai. Am to param purkaka dasa, Aya dekhan jaktama sa. He said, anyone who will utter these words that I am God, he will go to hell. I am a servant of the Supreme Lord. And I have come here to see what's happening around here. So only God is Krishna. And Krishna didn't claim that I am Supreme Personality of God. And he proved how he showed his universal form. He lifted Govardhan Hill when he appeared seven years back. Little boy lifted the whole hill. Uh, Govardhan. And Prabhupada has given us a place, very beautiful place in Govardhan, you know. There we are now in Govardhan. Nice temple, 125 years old temple. A very beautiful place Prabhupada has given us there. So he lifted the Govardhan hill and he killed big, big demons when he was only 
in the lap of his mother Jashoda, he killed she demon Putna. And Lord's mercy, Aho Bakiyam Stan Kalakutam. Lord Krishna delivered that Putna, though she has come to kill him. Oh, I have suck her breast. Let me send her to the spiritual world. This is the mercy of Lord. And we should not give up this. Such a merciful Lord, in all respects, we should take his shelter, become his pure devotee. And we become a pure devotee in such a way, we never forget him. Like I give the example of two friends. They met each other after a long time. One friend asked the question to the other, for all this time, have you ever remembered me? He is thinking. So you didn't answer my question. Have you ever remembered me all this time? He is thinking. So what are you thinking? So I'm thinking when I forget you. I never forget you. Similarly, we should never forget Krishna. We should never forget most beautiful Rukmani Dwarkadis. By the mercy of Srila Prabhupada, Gaur Nathai, we should always remember them. Why? Because at any moment death can come. Death can come at any moment. At any moment. It's not that there will be a, uh, in certain age one can die. No. Even young age people can die. We have one very little boy in our temple. He was visiting his mother's father or devotees. Two and a half year old boy, he left his body. Such a young age. At any age one can live, but before that time comes, I should be thinking of Krishna. I should leave, anyway, I'm going to leave my body one day, sooner or later. Me, you, he, she, nobody can stay here. Anybody in here in California can stay permanently? Anybody? <laughs> Raise your hand if they, I want to see him. Nobody. We all have to leave one day, sooner or later. But before that time comes, it's going to come. My time is coming close because getting old, body is getting old. Prabhu Swami Ji, what is the name? Amal Swami? What is Amal Bhakta? Amal Bhakta Swami. He is going to live for 200 years, you know. <laughs> <laughs> See, even how, how 95? That is a thing you. 95? No, eh? 91, but still he runs here and there everywhere. Eh? But nobody is going to be like, like Amala Bhakta Swami. We are all coming close to death. Death is approaching. Before death comes very close, it can come. We have to come close to Rukmini Dwarkadesh by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. There is one thing I say in India, in the local language, people like this. I will say here, those who understand Hindi, how much we should chant. Some say 16, some say more, this, that. I say in Hindi, those who understand, they repeat, Itna japakar ki had kar de ki yamaraj bhi apna khata rad kar de. Meaning is, you chant so much, then Yamaraj to start thinking, he is no more my customer. He has become the customer of Krishna. <laughs> chanting all the time, keep on chanting. Chanting, sitting. And Lord Chaitanya also recommended this. Uthite, vaisite, khaite, shuite. Yatha, tatha, namde. Standing, sitting, sleeping, eating, keep on chanting. Uthite, basite, khaite, shuite, yatha tatha naam le. Desh kaal niyam nahi. It's not that you can chant, no, you can chant, no. Sarv siddhi hoye. All the perfections will be there by chanting. So we should chant so much, when at that end comes, I should be only thinking of Krishna, not anything else. But Maya is very, very powerful, very, very powerful. But Prabhupada's mercy, and by the mercy of Gaur Nitai Panchatattva, they are very merciful Lord and Devita Chari, Gadadar, Shiva, Thakur. We should train ourselves in such a way. 
So, the modern scientific theory which states that there are many sun, suns in each universe is not supported by this verse. It is understood that in each universe there is only one sun which supplies light to all the planets, one sun only. Up to what time is the class? 8.30, okay. One me when 8.30, one minute before, one me. There is only one sun which uh, supplies light to all the planets. In Bhagavad Gita, the moon is also stated to be one of the stars. There are many stars, and when we see them glittering night, we can understand that they are reflectors of light. Just as moonlight is a reflection of sunlight, other planets also reflect sunlight, and there are many other planets which cannot be seen by your naked eyes. The demonic influence of the suns in the womb of Diti expanded darkness throughout the universe. Prabhupada is saying the demonic influence of the suns in the womb of Diti expanded darkness throughout the universe. So this demonic influence is increasing. Devotees, all of you are here in the Western world headquarter. Actually, demonic influence, as all of you know, we know that influencing in, increasing in the Western world, no, you people have to preach so much that this influence start coming down. It, it should not increase, it should decrease, and time should come, it, it is finished. By, you know, it is only possible by following the regulatory principles seriously, sincerely, and remembering Krishna all the time, chanting Krishna's name all the time. <coughs> Lord Chaitanya, he is himself get up in the morning. Udila Aruna Pura Bhage Dojamani Gaura Amini Jage. Bhakta Samua Loya Sate Gela Nagar Viraje. Lord is, you know, he is uh, starting the Yuga Dharma. How in this age of curl and hypocrisy, backbiting, dirty politics, we can become conscious of Krishna by chanting the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram. Otherwise, bad influence is also there. The dem demonic influence of the sons in the womb of the deity expanded darkness throughout the universe. But it's mentioned in the Chaitanya Tamar, Krishna Suri Sam Maya Hai Andhakar. I repeat. Jaha Krishna Taha Nehi Maya Re Adhikar. Krishna Suri Sam Maya Hai Andhakar. Jaha Krishna Taha Nehi Maya Re Adhikar. Lord Sri Krishna is a power, like powerful son. When powerful full sun is there in the sky, no darkness. So we need powerful sun, Krishna, all the time in our heart. But all the time when we are with Krishna, then darkness cannot influence, cannot influence us. So all of you have a great responsibility because you are the Western world headquarter here in Prabhupada's headquarter. Prabhupada is sitting here in a deity farm to bless us. This is the first deity of his, Prabhupada's first deity installed in the Western World Headquarters. So he's watching all of us. So my humble prayer is, please save this planet and save the Western World by spreading Krishna consciousness. Thank you very much. And all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Any question, any comments anybody has? Yes. Hare Krishna. Very inspiring class. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Bhakti Siddhartha Saraswati, he is saying Pranaya Chayar, say he to Prashara. Can we see the ear? Say again? Pranaya Chayar, say he to Prashara. 
Why the mercy of Srila Prabhupada? <laughs> Whatever I, I have in my life is the mercy of Srila Prabhupada. You know, uh, so many allurements comes. I left my home because uh, my family members, they wanted me to get married. I didn't want that. <laughs> because I haven't seen any married person happy. They are almost... <laughs> So I ran away, then uh, there was opportunity, Prabhupada blessed me in Bombay, I went to Africa. And there is one woman, she said, oh, if you marry my daughter, you will be very happy. <laughs> I said, I left my home and again here also, just here. <laughs> so Prabhupada wrote me one letter in 1974. He said, Maya will never be able to touch you. He blessed me in that letter in 1974. I was just new in, in the moment that time. And by his mercy, I'm protected by Maya. All over the world, wherever I go, Maya is following, you know. But we, protection of Srila Prabhupada is there, and he is very kind. He is protecting. So you have to take shelter of Prabhupada. You may not be Prabhupada's disciple, but this knowledge is coming from him. You understand? Directly, indirectly, we all belong to Srila Prabhupada. Take shelter of him. Pray for this, his mercy. See, Amala Bhakta Swami has so much blessings of Srila Prabhupada. Even in, at the age of 91, he's running here and there, you know. Very strong. I wish I can be like him. <laughs> <laughs> Hare Krishna. You understand? Thank you. Give the mic. Where is the mic? Any other question, comment anybody has? <laughs> because they are very, you people are very time conscious, so I don't want to go further, you know, finish in time. Yes, that was a really good answer you gave. But I have, eh? another, I have another angle to or the question that he asked and your response. Srila Prabhupada has many daughters and somebody has to take care. What would you recommend for them? Daughters? Yeah, he has many daughters, disciples. Yeah, yeah. He loves his daughters. Uh. And he would like them to be taken care of. Uh. Who would you have married them? If Actually, you know, uh, I also have many daughters, Prabhupada's granddaughters. They don't get married. I have few daughters, they don't get married, and they are so happy and peaceful, you know. And they're rendering so much service, you know, Ram Krishna has come. The one daughter is Mother Kunti. She works so hard, you won't believe. Take care of the whole temple, and it's very hard. But even uh, uh, Ram Krishna was very imp in, impressed by her. And we should, you know, the daughters, those who want to get married, you send them to me. I have one recommendation for them. I will recommend them, them one boy who has a, you know, Teddy Tanko, how do you say it in English? Teddy Tanko. With the cross legs. Yes, boy who is cross legged and dark color. And I recommend all the daughters marry to him, you know. You understand? Hare <laughs> Krishna. <laughs> ah, yes. Mm. Uh, I, I need some hints. What is it? I mean, you need some, some advice. advice. Huh? Some hints. Uh, I was unstable Brahmachari all my life, never married. So I did it some years. So for me and for somebody else who wants the Brahmachari, uh, can you give me some you know, very powerful hints? Powerful hint is by the mercy of Srila Prabhupada and by the mercy of Nitan Lord Nityananda. Ar kabe nitai chand karuna ghaive samsara vasana more kabe tuch ghaive by the mercy of Srila Prabhupada 
come to the shelter of Lord Nityananda. When will we, Lord Nityananda, be merciful towards me and free me from all material desire for sense enjoyment? This is very powerful hint. You understand? Keep in mind. Oh, yes, there is another powerful question. Uh-huh. In the material world, there's no juice there. Uh-huh. But sugar cane in the beginning has some juice. So how, how did one understand that, that analogy? <laughs> uh, this analogy is given by Srila Prabhupada. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to understand it. I accept it, but I'm trying to understand what that happened. Sugar, originally there was juice. A juice. Originally there was juice in the sugar cane. But somebody had chewed that, um, taken that juice. Now he has thrown that remnant. And somebody comes and take that and try to chew. There is no juice in that. Means uh, in the material world, we are trying to enjoy the senses again and again, again and again. There is nothing in that. They are useless. You understand? Uh, not exactly. no. I mean, gradually you will understand. <laughs> Gradually. Yes, what was your... <laughs> Yes. 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 Can you elaborate in that, please? Actually, uh, suppose, unfortunately, if you have entered to the household life, now you just think of Krishna. Think of Krishna, because now you are in that life. What can you do? So, best thing is yeah, all the time, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Ram. Ram. Uthite, vasite, khaite, shuite, Lord Chaitanya is saying. Yatha tatha naam le. Desh kaal, neem nahi, sarf se. And the Lord is saying, it's not that uh, you, you can chant now, you can chant now, but you will attain. If you keep on chanting, then all the perfection of life will come. Real perfection is, we will attain Krishna Prem. If Krishna Prem is there, my life is successful. If Krishna Prem is not there, my life is failure. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Uh, can we take one question? Yes. Our kind president has allowed us. Thank you very much. We have done that. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> you know why my class is wonderful? Because Amal, Amala, uh, Amala Swami wonderfully is sitting here. Because of your presence. So you speak for another five minutes, and I think everybody will be happy instead of hearing me for like two minutes. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Okay, and just, uh, I wanted to uh, comment on uh, Rabindranath's uh, point, if uh, I understood it right. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the problem is, is that. Uh, how does uh, this material world uh, appear like a desert? How does it have no juice? How come it has no taste or flavor? And uh, the, the, the answer is that simply, for most people who are of the material nature, who desire to have uh, who lust, anger, greed, envy, and all of that, well, the material world, that is their only juice. They're, that's all they have. But for a devotee, that dries up gradually as he becomes more and more truly and deeply Krishna conscious. Because what happens is that a flow of nectar comes from the heart to the devotee, and therefore the material world appears dry in comparison to that nectar. So it's an automatic process, but one has to be very sincere, very deep, and very true, and very loving. Thank you very much. Very nice, very good, very good. 
मोर फिनिश तो प्लीज रिपीट आफ्टर मी हरे कृष्णा लाउडर 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 हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे बिफोर यू स्टार्ट चैंटिंग डोंट फॉरगेट जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्री वासादि गौर भक्त वृंदा बिफोर यू स्टार्ट पंच तत्व डोंट फॉरगेट वन मंत्र बिफोर दिस नमा ओम विष्णुपदाया कृष्णा पृष्ठाया भूतले श्रेमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी इति नामने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे गौरवानी प्रचार ने निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश तारने हरे कृष्णा थैंक यू थैंक्स अगेन हरि बोल शिला प्रभुपा